right, today we are checking out Brett's Barbecue. Few of y'all said this is your favorite. This is in Katy, Texas. So let's see if it's any good. I got their two meat plate and it comes with two sides. And they don't sell boudin, but they do, they had turkey. So I got that. They did have macaroni and cheese. So I got macaroni and cheese and they had a jalapeno coleslaw. I've never had that before. So I was like, okay, let me try that. Mm. All right, all right. Smells amazing. This is their ribs, big ribs. Nice, seasoned well. Okay, looking good, smelling amazing. So let's see what it tastes like. Nice and tender, flavorful. Mm -hmm. This might give true barbecue a run for the money. This is pretty good. I need to buy a rack of these. You don't need barbecue sauce at all. So this is what I like. Well, this is delicious. This is definitely a 10 for me. I also got their brisket. Looking good from here. Smelling good. Let's see. Tender. All right. Let's see if the flavor's there. Their brisket looks really good. So they definitely get a, a reward for that. They have the best brisket so far. So they definitely went with that. This is definitely a 10. Nice, tender. I really like the way it's seasoned. It's flavorful. It don't lack anything. It's delicious. We definitely got to do a commercial break on this one. You know, we got our bread. I'm ready for this. They went in with the brisket. So y'all might be on to something. Let me see if the burger sauce is good. It don't have to be, because their meat is good by itself. It's spicy. Okay, it's decent. Add some pickles. Add some of the burger sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have the best brisket that I've tasted so far. Nice thick pieces of turkey. Mm. Turkey could be better. I give it like a 6.5. I've definitely had better turkey than this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this, but we're gonna give it a try. Mm. It's nice and spicy, and it has like a um. There's almost like they use like some type of Italian dressing. It's decent, but I'll give it like a 6.5. Okay, nice and creamy. Now it looks like there is some seasoning flakes in there. You season your macaroni and cheese. Cheese is not seasoning for anybody that doesn't know. I probably add like a little bit more salt, but the texture and the flavor is definitely there. So I give this like an eight. This is pretty good. Might be a little drive from Houston, but it's definitely worth the drive. It's, it's by Katie Mills. So yeah, if you haven't been here before, definitely check them out.